Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Man 6 Painful World. Probably the last video of this. And, thank goodness. We have the Seas of Blood. Which are a thing that exists for some reason. I wasn't actually even trying to get that, but it just kind of happened, because... The fans are being annoying! Jump and then fly and then die. It's not easy trying to deal with all this stuff. Half of it wants to be very painful, the other half of it just wants to drag me into spikes. Okay. Yeah, I get dragged into spikes that time, although it was certainly trying to do its best. There. Yeah, I'm not going for that. Whew. Things a little bit chaotic here. One thing that will always happen though is my jump button will decide not to jump for whatever reason. Alright, we're into a room that is a little bit better colored, although it's still quite, uh, the, uh, Teleporters are still quite blood red. Uh, what do I want to go for here? I forget what order everything is in, so... Okay. Axes beat you. Uh, Spears beat me, apparently. And the music uh, has gone back to... I honestly prefer the, uh, wild music. Slide. Mega, Mega Man, slide! For some reason, I was not getting a slide when I was trying to call for a slide. Okay, Plant Man! Man, you are as feeble as ever. I think which way he jumps might depend on what half of the screen he is on. I'll have to test that for later purposes. Oh, did I call it or did I call it? So far, these have been surprisingly jank free. I 
And again, the boss is usually relatively uh, solid. I can try and freeze me, Centaur Man. I've got no problem with that. Oh yeah, no Kaizo traps either. I appreciate that. Okay, I don't have enough Centaur Flash, so... Buster it is. Right, now I've got enough Centaur Flash. Ah. Again, the slide is not coming out properly. Oh, hey, do you have walls this time? That might actually... I might actually want to be very careful about that. Okay, you do. It's hard to tell if they're walls, but... I am in less danger of glitches happening. These are much easier when I'm not worried about dancing around spikes and positioning myself. I mean, they would be, because they're just the, the vanilla bosses. Yeah. Although, for some reason, I'm having some control issues. And specifically in those rooms, for some reason, I does not like to bring my slide out. Alright. Well, we've gotten past that, so it's time to see what the last stage has to offer. Just going to preemptively equip the jack here. Could use that weapon energy, but I didn't know it was coming, so... Okay. Definitely going to be a little bit energy starved for this, but eh, it is what it is. Eddie, why are you walking when you know that there's a great abyss in front of you? Incredibly ugly uh, graphics, by the way, here, but uh, we've had plenty of that so far. Phase one down, and I made a tactical error there. I forget what other weapon works against this guy. Two of them do. There's two that do two damage. I 
know Silver Tomahawk is the actual weakness, but... Doesn't even do anything. Why do you do nothing? Alright. Final phase. Is there anything weird after this one? The game has been weird enough, it doesn't have to be, but. Down we go! I'll be <coughs> curious to see what the... Uh, what the ending sequence looks like here. The world is at peace! The world is saved from Dr. Wily and his giant stages of doom! Oh, hey, there is a wall there that doesn't exist in the actual game. Maybe the scripted sequences there are protective in a way. All right, well, uh, that looks ugly. That Centaur Man, the boss that decided that we weren't going to get beat because he blocked off his uh, actual wall. So I just kind of cheated beat him. I barely used him, but still. Yeah, we are seeing the, uh, we're seeing the boss arenas as they were redesigned. That's, uh, good to see all the terribleness. And terrible is a good way of describing this hack. It is, in a word, absolutely god-awful. I mean, look at what we get, look at all the crap that we had to deal with. Stages that couldn't be beaten without cheating. Blocks that would just kind of disappear en masse. Ladders that didn't work. Crash- random crashes sometimes. Kaizo traps in the boss uh, rooms. Uh, respawn points that just killed you the moment you went into them. Stages that- uh, Sequences that I'm pretty sure are impossible to beat without having some sort of cheat for uh, Rush uh, Rush Jet Adapter. Either a turbo button or infinite energy some sort. And sequences that couldn't be beating without damage tanking. Yeah, there's just so much wrong with this game. I'm not at all surprised that I got axed from, uh, from Hacking.net. <laughs> I wouldn't want to host this one either. But... So, sometimes you have to play the bad stuff to appreciate the good stuff. I, it's what I keep telling myself when I keep playing bad stuff. One of these days we're gonna get to the good stuff. One of these days, surely, right? But yeah, this was... This one, though, quite honestly, was so bad it was funny. I actually enjoyed myself, despite how terrible an experience it was, because it just was... 
it was like it was like a train wreck where each train car has a different chemical that explodes with a different color and uh, magnitude. It's like you know it's going to get bad. It's going to stay bad. It's going to get worse, but you just can't help but want to know what's going to happen next. Ugh. I mean, it, it did its trick if that's what it was going for. And if it was a, just meant to be a troll hack, it did the trick for that, too. Ugh. All right. That's all for me for now. Next time, something at least a little more technically solid, even if it's not better. Until then, this is Doc. I'll see you later.